that. That's a nice big new leaf, especially compared to the wimpy, <laughs> papery, crispy ones that it put out last time. Much improved. Gotta have the green in there when they're all white like these, or mostly all white. This hasn't been looking as good. That's a, I don't, what was I supposed to be talking about right now? Uh, hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well, I'm great. I was getting ready to move these mule palms outside. Forecast is looking decent enough all the way up until the 21st. I think the coldest temperature is like 31. The mules are good to 15 to 18 degrees, somewhere in there. Perhaps even lower than that, as long as it's brief and things warm back up very quickly. The mule, if you don't know, these are the Boutiagris. It's a cross between a Boutia and a queen palm, and you get mule palm because their seeds are mostly sterile. Really tough, hardy palms. I'm having some thoughts here about moving them out because you can see they're not getting enough light in here. That's why the newer fronds are coming out this light green, and they're pretty wimpy. You see the give that's in there? don't really want to see that. They've only been in here for, I don't know, what, maybe two months? I moved them in here, I think, mid-January, whenever we had that really, really, really cold snap that swept across the United States. That was sometime in mid-January. I think that's about when I moved them in. So I'm pretty sure I moved these in whenever I moved the windmill palms in, I think. So that's not that long to be inside, but I'm noticing that there's some give here inside the crown. I'm trying to be very gentle here. I don't want to move things too much. And that's one of the reasons I haven't cut these old leaf bases back that far, because I remember them doing this last year too. So I always try and keep a few of those up there so I have something to anchor onto in case I need to tie these up for stability. That's my only hang up with moving these outside now. It isn't so much the cold as that they've been in here without a ton of airflow. I have fans all over the place out here, but they don't reach this far back very well. There's not very intense lighting. They get a good amount of light from this window right here. That's about it, which is okay for a short period of time. Two months sort of pushing things. Don't want it to go too much longer than that. They can have a uh, dramatic response being moved from a stale environment as far as airflow goes to them being moved outside if it's going to be really breezy in spring here, and in most places, very, very, very windy. That's what I'm on the fence about, because they're starting to flush out with some really nice new growth, and my options are to wait. I can just hold off, leave them in here, because they're actually, other than the pale green foliage and the limpness from not having airflow, I can fix it. I can put a fan over here that'll sweep through it, and that'll help with the quality of the fronds that are coming out. Hold off and wait or just say, forget it, take them out there and try and stick them into corners and up against walls where they'll be more sheltered, and potentially wrap the bottoms of the fronds here with some cord. Take some paracord and get that in here so that they have some more stability and the middle part won't be twisting very much because the twistage on the inside can kill the palms if it's too extreme. But if I wait, I'm going to be waiting until like late June. That's when storm season rolls out. So that seems dumb. I don't think they would like that. So I may as well just go ahead and do it, right? There's your dose of me thinking out loud. There's gonna be a whole lot more of that going on. Once I make up my mind with those, my mind's pretty much made up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and just move them out to the backyard. I have had a big project going on out there that I'm really excited to show y'all. There are a few finishing touches that need to be done, but hopefully that'll be done by the end of the week. So it will make it into this video because I really, really, really want to be able to show everybody what's going on out there. And the pool is supposed to be uncovered and opened up and get flowing this week. It's one of the reasons I want to get things looking good outside again. And a part of that is getting some of the palm trees back outside. Plus, these are just taking up space. I want, I need to get some things moved out of here. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic. <laughs> it didn't take long. Like, 20 minutes, if even. That's my fault. It got hit by the garage door on the way out, and I bent a frond. It'll be okay. They go through it when I move them outside anyways. That'll re-sprout. It'll be fine. Other ones over here looking pretty good. I think they're happy to be outside. Hard to tell. Gotta give that a few more days. It is It doesn't look it like it in the camera. You can see a lot more blue than in person. But it's raining. Just started. Apparently it's going to do that for a while. So I guess instead of yard work, I'm just going to be titling this video Moving Two Palm Trees Outside. And the pool's going to be opening up tomorrow morning. They should be here 
that's going to get things looking better out here. The water's going to be gross and green probably for a few days, but at least it's going to be open. Should be coming back with the pool open and then a new spot. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it, but the pool will be open and there's going to be a new spot to show everybody with, I don't know. I want to put plants around it and do things with it, but it's March. So we'll see what happens. There'll be a reveal here in a moment. There'll be an open pool and then something big and exciting. And I can't wait to show y'all. It didn't take him very long. I know I said the pool would be open in the next clip, but we had some terrible storms last night and some pretty severe stuff supposed to go on throughout the rest of the day. So they said, we'll show up tomorrow, the day before this video comes out. So I'm imagining things are gonna get chaotic here at some point. Had to pop the cover open though, cause I forgot, I have to put water in the pool. The water has to be up to where the jets are and the skimmers on the sides. And this is prime opportunity for turbo. Some fun down there. Okay. Oh, you actually like went all in. You went swimming, huh? Oh boy. Yeah, you did your swimmies, huh? You got some swimmies done. He's happy. I, I could have just cut back and not showed you any of this, but the thing with the turbo under the cut, I mean, come on. Freaking cute. Go on turbo. You're free. You can go play. Go swim. You're fine. You can burn off some energy. I'm fine with that. Go on. Go on. Go swim. <laughs> Having the time of his life right now. Hey, pumpkin. What you doing, kitten? Behave yourself. Yeah, give Pumpkin some space. All right, she's being good. Jumping all over Pumpkin lately. Can you hear it? Probably not. Listen, listen. Oh, I'm doing that. We're gonna go out there. Oh, so nice. Feels so good to be back outside and to be able to hear the water again. It was only shut down for two months. So that's not really that, but not two months. Hold on, math, December to January, January, February, February, March, three months. And got shut down December 17th, something like that. A very short winter, as far as that's concerned. A lot of winters, these things are shut down early November, late October. A lot of people around here close their pools in like September. I don't understand those people. I guess if you're really sensitive to cool water, then maybe, but it, the ground stays warm here for a long time. The water stays warm. I have a heater, but I don't necessarily run it until like November, besides the point. Very short winter, still a lot of damage. We'll talk about all that when there's a garden tour at the end of the month, but for now, we just enjoy the water. Oh, it's so good. Still needs to go up quite a bit. I cannot believe how low it was when I popped the cover off of there. When I looked down there, that water, it was almost to the bottom. There were only a few inches of water in the, in the shallow end, that is, which is not normal. Usually the water's like, I'd say, six inches below those skimmers somewhere in that range so gonna be on leak watch this liner got replaced very late last fall i think it was november maybe late october when it got replaced so there could be a leak somewhere the reason it got replaced was because one it was old and leaky and the lights were busted and to get to the lights had to do a whole bunch of stuff take them out and it had faded and it turned white so it just made sense to switch it out and uh, when doing all that found the leak which was inside of these light casings that are underground. So, I don't know. Just have to wait. That's something where you have to go with the dye. It'll probably be a week, maybe a week, until I get in there. I doubt I'll be able to wait that long, but I'm going to try my best. You're being real good. He's just been circling this thing, slowly pacing the outside perimeter, every now and then glancing at me to see if I see him, and I'm watching him, watching very closely. There's chemicals in there. They first open it, some shot goes in the water, Otherwise, the pool salt water and the whole chlorine process happens inside of a machine connected to the filters. There's like chlorine and there's free chlorine. It's a whole science thing that I don't understand. I'm not going to try and explain it, but when it gets opened up, shot goes in there. Just that's the one time. So he's got to stay out of there. I can't wait to get the gingers planted up over here and have some more color around everything. The hydrangeas just to flush back out. Actually, I already ordered the gingers. Usually I just go to a whole bunch of nurseries and hope that I can find them. I can almost always find them. A lot of the nurseries get them in from a specific grower and that specific grower, a three gallon Alpinia is like 80 to a hundred bucks, which is just absolutely outrageous. So uh, instead of spending a lot of time going from place to place to place, they're like, oh no, I hope I can find the gingers. I just, I ordered a couple. They're like 40 bucks. I don't know what they'll show up looking like, but they're going to go through some transition being moved to this climate anyways. They don't look perfect. That's fine. And I'm sure I'll end up getting more when I'm out of the nurseries if I see them. And if I don't, then I don't have to worry about it because I already have a couple to put by the dolphins. I thought about doing heliconias here this year, but they're even harder to find. 
and I have to wait such a long time to put them out. Those shell gingers can take a good amount of cold. I think that those stayed looking pretty good until like, I don't know, January-ish, December. They took a hard hit when we had some frost at one point last year. So that's something to think about. There'll be more frost, but they're gonna be right next to the edge of the water. I can also keep them in the garage when they show up and wait to put them out here. I'm just glad that I don't have to spend a lot of time trying to find them this year, and it's gonna be so nice. Maybe next week, depending on the forecast, I might go ahead and just say screw it and pot them up and throw frost blankets over them if we have some cold in April. Who knows? I can't wait to get in there. I'm so excited to be able to get out here and swim laps in the morning and just enjoy myself. Look at what a beautiful day it is. Actually cooled off quite a bit. It was 81 yesterday and it's like 49, 46 right now. That's fairly normal for this time of year. Weather shifts all over the place. He wants me to throw that in the pool so bad. He's being so good. Y'all know if you've been watching the channel for a few years, he's very good at sneaking into the water. I'll say no pool and he listens, but then you'll hear a very quiet disturbance in the water and turn around and he'll sneak in from the steps that are over there in the deep end. If I'm over here, if I'm down there, then he'll sneak in very quietly from over here. So far he hasn't done that. It's only been like half an hour though. Might be getting ahead of myself. Probably need to give that more time to see he's being good. So far he's being very good. I see you. I know what you're thinking about doing. It's not like if he got in, something terrible is going to happen to him. The shock that they use, they said is safe after like two hours. And I think they put in there maybe an hour ago. He got in there last year and hosed them off. Everything was fine. Then I think it had been about maybe four hours since the shock was put in there. Okay, I'm watching. Turbo, get back. No pool. No pool. I know. I know. It's so hard and confusing because you got to sw do your swimmies in there yesterday, but not today. It's because it wasn't full of chemicals yesterday. You're just going to have to wait a little bit longer. This is normally when I would scoot these pots back in where they go. You can see the little ring here in the patio from where they normally sit. And then I would pull the peach tree planters from the driveway over here and get things spruced up and looking nice. But I have, there's another big project about to happen <laughs> next week. Won't be until the end of next week. So I don't, I don't know how I'm going to film it, but I'm going to do my best. There's going to be something going on out here that y'all have never seen before. I think I've only seen happen out here one time, like a once a decade occasion and that's restaining this patio the company who does it's gonna i could do it myself i don't want to i don't have time if there's somebody who's gonna come out and handle that but before they can do it i have to take everything off the patio so uh, i had said last week that there's gonna be a lot of cleaning going on in this video because i didn't think that the people who were going to stain the patio would show up until like mid-april I'm very happy that's not the case because, you know, I like to do stuff out here and I would like to have that done before I start moving plants outside. And had I had known that, I wouldn't have moved the mule palms out. Where is it? I can't even see it. The sun's in my eyes. Over there. There's the mule palm. Not that I need to show you. Y'all saw it at the beginning of the video. Yeah, everything's got to go. All the planters, the dolphins, they can stay. But there's going to be nothing left after move. All the furniture, tables, chairs, lots of pottery, some small, a lot of very large pottery. It's going to look bizarre being able to see the entire patio. It'll be a big project. That's the ultimate cleanup. I don't know if they're going to power wash it or if I need to. I don't mind doing it. It takes a pretty long time, but I can do that. I have a power washer. I just need to get in touch with whoever's supposed to do this. They said they had to wait a week until after the pool's been open because of water. Like the water around where the cover was touching the cement needs to dry. I don't know, wouldn't that be the same for where the pots have been sitting all winter long? Maybe, I'm sure they don't know that I have pots sitting out here all over the place though, I don't know. These are things I need to get in touch with them about and figure out. So I was a little bit hesitant to even talk about this because I don't know if it'll be happening next week. They're supposed to come out next week and do that. Probably not till the end of the week, which complicates things for making videos. Video will come out on Saturday, I bet they won't show up until Thursday or Friday, just like with the pool in. The thing I'm about to show you, projects this week stretched out longer than I thought they would. Next week will probably be the same, hence the shorter videos and lack of activity because I can't, I can just don't want to do outside filming things when there are people in my backyard working. It's uncomfortable and I think it's kind of rude. All right, that's enough about the pool and uh, all the cleanup that's gonna have to happen out here. Now you see that, look at all this stuff. Actually, I don't think it will be that bad because a lot of it I can just scoot to the edge. It looks worse than it is. And that's another reason I'm so excited to get this done. Yes, the umbrella is broken. I'm not dealing with that right now. You wanna see? See the big project? I mentioned 
a couple weeks ago that I was having the steps to the house built out, which I know doesn't sound all that exciting, but turns out there's a lot you can do with setting up some new steps. Aren't they beautiful? Doesn't this look so good? There's a very odd reverb to my voice when I was standing right there. That looked great. Did the piling with the rope. Kind of give me red lobster vibes, but I'm all right with that. Glass tile and lays on the front of the steps and there's lighting going in on this overhang up here to light those up at nighttime. It's nice and wide. So Toby can get up and down these so much easier than he could before. It took him a little while to get used to it, but he's starting to get up and down without much hesitation. The last couple days he's flying up and down and without much hesitation, so that's good. The steps that were originally here, the top step was like this big. So really you had one step and you had to step up into the house, which wasn't really a big deal, but it's going to be difficult for older people, my parents, older dogs, Toby, and Turbo, you know, in several years, and toddlers, which, gonna have one of those around this time next year. A lot of reasons that need to be built out. One, aesthetics. This just looks so much better. Two, safety. The other step wasn't really all that safe, so this is much better. The piling is a piece of cypress. It was, I think, an eight-foot pole. And this is the height that me and the contractor, or the contractor and I, decided to go with. There were lots of different ideas being bounced around, and this is what I had stuck in my head was just to keep it simple, put a piling here. There were some designs that were being thrown about that were more elegant, I guess you could say, but I think sometimes it's nice to just have fun. Piece of cypress piling, some rope around it. I think that that has a nice look to it. I like the way he cut around it and came out here and smoothed that corner. It just looks nice. The railing I'm a little bit uh, iffy about. I don't know if I really like the railing, but let's be for real here. That railing, not going to be all that noticeable by the time I have plants piled up around here. And that's what I'm looking forward to doing is landscaping or patio scaping this spot. There will be a big Robolini palm here mid to late May, sometime around there. Have these awesome Nautilus planters. Those will look good over there. There's just so much that can be done around here. I don't want it to look too cluttered. Y'all know it's probably going to end up looking pretty cluttered, but I don't want to put a ton of pottery on the steps themselves, but around the edges to frame it in. Cause the dogs seem to be enjoying laying on them too. Pretty good reason to not pile things up too much. There'll be a huge Adenidia palm here, assuming the people who are storing the palm tree didn't kill it. If they didn't kill it, there will be a big Adenidia palm here. In the meantime, I was thinking about maybe moving the windmill palm over there. It'd be tricky. This thing's fairly heavy. I don't know if it's tall enough. If it's tall, I can stand underneath it. It probably has, I'd say five feet of trunk maybe on it, but you know, the container lifts it up higher. Just sickly, looking at this, where the crown is right here, if that crown is over here, and you're standing on this top step, then isn't that, there's just gonna be like palm fronds smacking you in the face, right? It's not the kind of palm where I feel like I can stick it at an angle and it'll look right. It's gonna be a lot of work getting that <laughs> over there too, because there's a slope and an angle to things. Uh, really, there's only one way to figure it out, and it's just to take it over there and see if it works. Doesn't work? I can pull it out. I make it sound so easy. I'm gonna be putting it into a hole. It won't be that easy to get it out, but may as well give it a try, right? There we go. Hey, Turbo, you're gonna have to move. Sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. There's a palm tree coming. You gotta get out of the way. I saw that. You think this is fun, don't you? You like when I move the plants around. He likes when I move the plants around because when he was a puppy, he had a lot of fun tearing up the wheels on this thing, which is why it now has solid rubber wheels that don't go over objects very well. That's not too bad. There we go. A little bit more. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now I just, I just, I just make, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to figure it out. I'm going to come back and there'll be a palm tree over here. Looks good there, but that, see that? Look at that. It's going to be hitting me right in the face when I walk through this door. Yep. That's right at eye level. Can I just scoot it over here? Don't want to twist it too much. Talked about the twistage with the palm trees earlier in the video. I already played around with twisting and turning this thing in different ways, and this is what looks the best. I would like for it to be turned a little bit like this, but then this frond is going to be right here when you walk out the door. This will just have to do. It's fine. This is temporary anyways. Oh, it looks so nice. The little palm tree back there behind the piling and the bricks, and I should put some seashells there. I already have them piled up over there. I have the Austin Pretty Limits Oleander. I got from Proven Winners a few years ago. It's just a tiny little thing when I got it. It's done a good amount of growing. These can be outside into the, I'd say, uh, upper teens. They should be fine without any damage to the foliage. They can go down to zero, but the foliage will die back. Yeah, I like that. 
kind of wild, giving me the beachy vibes. And I think the spot will be good for it. It's going to help it straighten out some too. It was stretching towards the light this past winter. When I had it inside, I might straighten it up a little bit like that. Yeah? Uh-huh. Okay. It looks good. I would like to pull some of the branches out and have them over here like that because that just makes it look more natural. <laughs> as natural as it can look when there's a pot there. But somebody really likes to snatch leaves in his mouth when he's running in and out of the house. So I'm going to tuck that over there because, you know, oleander. It's toxic. I don't want him biting onto that when he's going in and out. That's about all he can do plant-wise is it's March 15th. There's nothing really else I can do out here. None of the other plants I have can come out just yet. They have to wait because it's not warm enough yet. I do think a random pile of shells over here in the corner would look good. Don't want them sticking out where anybody might step on them though. That one down there. Yeah. Random pile of shells. Turbo, get out of the way. You're in the shot. Come here. Good boy. Okay, that will look better over time when it gets kicked around and just falls into place. The Nautilus planters. Holy crap, I forgot how freaking heavy this thing is when it has soil in it. Okay, drop that up there. That'll do. Yeah, I have no memory of putting Sempervivums in this little one. Does anybody else? I don't remember doing that, but hey, nice surprise. I think I should move those, scoot them over more towards that corner, but you get the point. It's beachy. Made a slight adjustment. I do think that they look better like that. Can't plant them up yet because again, it's March. Anything I'd want to put in there isn't safe to have outside just yet. This will have to do for now and I could move more plants around and put them on this side because I have lots of evergreen shrubbery out here and well the mule palms I just move those out but as I mentioned before sometime within the next couple of days I have to move everything off of the patio so it wouldn't really make sense to go moving those around more than I have to, especially when I'm letting them harden off their fronds. You having a good time? What do you have? What you got in there? What you got in there, Turbo? What is... Oh, you found a seashell. Okay, that's fine. You can have that one. And I mentioned there are lights being put in. That's going to be happening on Monday, and I get the lights put in, have to pop off some panels, maybe move some things around. So I actually... I probably shouldn't even have put those up there, but it won't be hard to set them back down on the ground. I think it looks good, but we have to move them in a day or two. The railing... The reason it's just this cheapy vinyl kind is because the plan was actually to have another piling cut out to fit the side of the house the railing went into the piling and I don't remember why that didn't happen but it just it wasn't going to work out I don't remember why and then the next part of things was going to be to wrap this with jute twine or something of the sort very tightly wrap it because this is really slippery when it gets wet and it's going to be very hot during the summer this thing's going to be really, really, really toasty. I have to replace the twine probably every couple of years, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't cost a lot and wrap that up there. I think that'll look cool. Maybe dangle some beach glass or something from it. I don't know. I don't want to go too far with it, which you know I will. It's going to look ridiculous by the end of summer, but going to have a lot of fun doing it. Toying with the idea of maybe blue dune grass right here. It'd be nice to have a perennial there. Although by the time the palm trees show up from the greenhouse, that dune grass will be tall enough that it will get smashed whenever I move the palm tree back there. So it's the Adenidia palm, much heavier than this windmill palm. The windmill palm was actually probably really good practice for me, for me to get an understanding of the slope and elevation, how much I'm going to have to lift that plant up to get it over there. The Adenidia that goes over here, I usually end up laying it down on the ground and pushing it backwards and then lifting it up and just letting the pot sort of fall into the hole that I have dug over there for it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with this new angle here. I might end up having to dig out the space and push it in and come through, which means I can't plant anything in the ground here until that's in place. Make sense, right? Because I'll have to move it all, dig it up, or it'll get smashed when I'm in the process of moving these palm trees in and out of that location. Alocasias, not alocasias, um, xanthosomas, colocasias, something of the sorts. Maybe just do another Chinese fan palm like I have in the past. I wouldn't want the fan palm with the dune grass. The dune grass will come up over the fan. There's so much time to think about this. Lots of great ideas. Won't be planting any vines on the pole. Just putting that out there. I know I'm going to have people who are going to suggest it. I don't want to do that. Looks nice how it is. It's going to weather nicely. It's cypress, so it should gray out really well over time. And I have a couple of extras of that cypress too over here from the other half of the pole. Contractor cut them down so that they're altered, what I don't know what you'd call this, one shorter than the other. 
staggered, that was the word, and have extra rope here. I requested that specifically because I told him that I think it would be nice to have a couple of pieces that I could maybe move around on this side, but I just didn't want a railing on both sides. I didn't think that it would look right, and really, honestly, it was more that I think it would infringe on the plants and palm trees that I want to put over here that are going to lean somewhat over here. I don't want there to be a railing in the way. The plants had to come first. There's a railing over there, and that's fine. That's enough. And these things are so easy to wrap. I prefer to glue the end down and then start wrapping, and then you put little screws in. As you go, the screws disappear into the rope, and there are pieces you can put over the ends to keep them from fraying. I can't remember what they're called, so the ends will fray if you don't do that or melt them back if you're using a nylon. Whole point there is I have a couple more pilings to play with and wrap up and can place them in different spots. They'll probably end up right here at this front corner though, once the rest of the plants are moved over here. What do you think? Do you love it? I love it. I think it looks so good. Such a huge improvement. A big addition to the backyard. I know they're just steps, but they're really nice steps. They look really good, don't they? It's been fun too to have this platform to stand on when I come outside. I'll go inside so I can pretend I'm coming outside. So much room for activities. You can stand up high and have another look at the yard from a whole different angle. I love it. I think it looks great. I love the palm tree over there. I think that... <laughs> It's just one palm tree, but it adds a lot to it, especially with the oleander in front of it. So many creative juices flowing this year, planting up around that step area. And maybe you can see why I was talking about in the last video about how this has been difficult to shoot around. It's like I can never have the camera pointed in this direction at all while this was under construction. And I didn't want to be out here while he was working on it because, like I said, it's awkward and I feel like that's rude. I'm pretty sure I already settled that though, didn't I? There was an idea that got spitballed to put those tiles that are on the front of the steps onto a plexiglass instead of, pe that was too much hand, sorry, instead of onto the PVC material that they're on and then light them up from the inside. Wouldn't that have looked cool? The uh, problem is that idea didn't come to be until after that was basically done. It would have cost a fortune to redo everything and he had already been working really hard on it. So I was like, you know, just light it up from the top. Have some lights that are going to go on the inside and it'll look nice at nighttime. Yeah, I'm so happy with it. I love it. That's a pine cone, by the way. It's not dog poop. I think it's a huge, huge, huge addition. I guess it's not an addition to the house, but it feels like an addition. Is it an addition? I don't Is that an addition? I don't know what you'd call it. It's a big improvement. Looks great. Real beachy. Giving me the beachy vibes. Maybe a little kitschy. I'm okay with that. I like dripping in class out here as it is. Have some fun with it. Whole point of the backyard for me is to have my escape. I never want my yard to look like all the other places I see around town. And this is certainly giving me that vibe. All right. Hope everybody's doing well. Thanks for hanging out. Lots of talking today, not a lot of action, but it was because, you know, like I said, the projects, when the people who are doing them can't get to them till the end of the week, that's just sort of the way things have to go. Might be the same thing next week, I don't know, but I am looking forward to getting everything off, well, actually I'm not, I'm dreading <laughs> moving everything off this patio. It's going to be a lot of work. I'm looking forward to the physical aspect of it. There are definitely probably going to be some challenges that arise during the process, and I'll bring you all along for it, hopefully it will actually get stained and everything done in one video. I don't know if that's going to happen though. That doesn't matter. People always love the cleanup videos. That's why I have a big pile of junk over there in the corner. I've just been piling my junk up so in the spring I can move it all and everybody can feel great about having a clean spot over there in the corner. I get it. It's satisfying. Like I said, thanks for hanging out. Hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, great life, and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. Yeah, those storms last night, they were pretty horrible took off another frond. It's okay, go through that with those every single year. I think getting them into some fresh soil with a regimen with some palm game will help sort all that out. I thought I saw buds on one of these, which would be surprising because the temperatures have been relatively cool in the evenings, but there have been a few days in the 80s too, upper 70s, low 80s. I don't know, who knows? It'll probably be a while till this thing blooms. Okay, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.